Tristan's League Chest. Why is it so small? <laughs> Alright, people. So, I'm going to be talking about Tristan's League Chest. Um, he posted a recent photo on YouTube, on his YouTube wall, along with the caption saying, I have no idea what he said. Didn't care about it. I just wanted to read the comments. But before I get into that, I just want to tell you people that I am not bashing Tristan Lee, nor I have anything negative towards him. He's actually a inspiration of mine, and I admire him for his hard work. So with that being said, he is a very positive influence. So a lot of people are commenting under his latest photo because his chest is very small compared to other body parts that he has worked on, such as his arms, his shoulders, and his legs. So why is it his chest is so small compared to other body parts? Well, we have no idea, to be honest. We, we, we cannot say 100% that, uh, you know, this is the issue or this is the cause. We don't know. Essentially, what I think the problem is, is that he's not training his chest to its fullest. He doesn't work on the angles. He doesn't work on the contractions, nor is he working with different types of chest workouts, right? Doing one or two exercises on your chest won't do the job. If you want that 3D look, if you want that 3D pop to your chest, you have to work every muscle group within your chest, okay? There's about three, three muscle groups within your chest, I believe, right? But there's also different ways you could train your chest. There's different parts of the chest that you could target and to train. For instance, or for example, we have the middle of the chest. We have the split in the middle, right? And then if we go over here, we got the upper chest right here, the, the, the shelf right here. The top of your chest is called the top shelf. And then we got the side right here, okay? We got the little swoop that goes under. The swoop goes all the way under right here. Then we got the middle. Then we got the top. So you have to train your chest in a particular way in order to get that chest to pop, okay? Doing regular dumbbell flies or barbell presses on the bench won't do the job, okay? It's all about manipulating the angles in order to get that chest to pop. I do a lot of angle man manipulation in order to get my chest to, to get where it's at today, okay? It was very difficult for me to develop a chest at first because I have no idea how to contract the chest nor how to train the chest properly. And if you're not training the chest properly nor any type of muscle properly, you're not going to get the best results. So in my opinion, I don't think Tristan Lee is training it to its fullest and or he's not training properly or efficiently. Okay, because his arms and his legs and his shoulders and his back are well developed compared to his chest. I just think that he's not training his chest enough or he's not training it hard enough. Okay, there's, there's a big difference. Okay, so, you know, why is his chest so small? We don't know. I just said that I think he's not training it enough and or he's not putting enough hard work into it. Right, because a lot of people don't work on a particular muscle group to its fullest. For instance, a lot of people don't like, tra like training legs, so they they will half ass their leg workouts or their shoulder workouts. A lot of people like bicep training or arm training or arm day, I should say. So they will prioritize the arm day to its fullest. They will put all their effort into the arm workout in order to get the best results. But if you want the best results for every workout session then you have to put in the hard work every single time. Just because you put in the hard work yesterday doesn't mean you have to put in the hard work tomorrow, no. So yesterday, if you train arms, the next day is chest day, make sure you put in the same effort, if not more effort, in order to get more results or better results. So we don't know why Tristan Lee has a small chest. You cannot say it's steroid use or SARM use or PEDs because if that was the case, then everything his whole physique will be just popping, you know. He will look like a complete fucking beast. He is a complete beast, but he'll be much over more, much over more of a beast if he had that 3D chest, right? But also, you gotta include his diet into the into the equation, okay? Because he is on a calorie deficit. Well, supposedly he's on a bulk, but he still looks super shredded. So while you're being in a calorie deficit, you're not going to gain a whole lot of muscle nor fat. So everything's going to look shredded and kind of deflated. And this is one of the reasons why his chest looks small and a little bit less defined. Other muscle groups is because he don't have a whole lot of fat or muscle on that chest. But once he starts prioritizing that chest a little bit more than other muscle groups, he will get that chest to pop. 
to get that 3D look. He just has to train a little bit more frequently, a little bit more harder, add a little bit more intensity, and have a little bit more patience, and he will get that chest. I know how hard and difficult it is in order to develop a nice chest because I'm still in the process of doing so. At first, I had no chest when I began my fitness journey. Absolutely no chest, no split in the middle, no upper chest, no swoop, nothing to that nature. I had a complete bird chest. And a lot of people say Tristan only has a bird chest. He's far from that. He has a well, nice developed chest, but not too nice. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, there's no issue with him. There's no tear. There's there's no injection sites or anything like that in his chest or, you know, adhesions or anything like that. He's just not training it hard enough. He's not putting in the hard work. He's not putting 100% effort into that chest workouts. And if he was, then his chest will pop like his arms and his back and his legs. Hopefully this cleared up anything and thanks for watching.